Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Wooden Railway Adventures, Episode 245, Hard to Handle. One morning, Dustin puffed into the wharf where the Admiral would begin his journey around the Scarloe Railway. I'll see you tonight, Dustin. With any luck, today will bring us one step closer to finding Sailor John. Ah, you must be, uh, Mr. Percival, is that correct? Sir Topham Hatt told me you would meet us here. Yes, welcome to the Scarloe Railway, Admiral. I can't wait for you to see our little part of the island. The Admiral looked around. Is, is there going to be an engine to take me where I need to go? Yes, well, you see, the little engines have been hard at work all summer, and unfortunately, I don't have one to spare for your journey, yet. However, your work is very important, so I will pull over the next engine that puffs into the wharf and have him or her be your guide today. There isn't a bad engine on this railway, so I am confident you will receive the best tour ever. But Mr. Percival wasn't expecting the engine that showed up. It looks like it's going to be Sir Handel, he said flatly. Oh dear. What's so wrong with Sir Handel? asked Dustin. He's a friendly engine and he's worked here a long time. Yes, you're very right. But when Sir Handel's having a bad day, stow it, you trucks. I've had enough of your nonsense ever since we left the quarry. If you keep this up, I'll throw each of you off a cliff one by one. Mr. Percival grinned nervously. Ahem, Sir Handel, we have a guest on the railway today. This is the Admiral, and he's doing some work for Sir Topham Hat. I would like you to... Why is he wearing a funny hat? Does he know the oceans that way? Dustin chuckled quietly. The Admiral even managed to laugh. You're very correct, Sir Handel. I do look out of place in the rocky hills of your railway. Would you like to give me a tour so I can acquaint myself with this part of the island? But Sir Handel wasn't interested. No thanks. These trucks deserve to be punished. And once I drop this load off... Ahem, Sir Handel, the Admiral needs a ride, and you're the only engine available. I'm sure whatever you're going to dish out on these trucks can wait until you get back. Sir Handel sighed loudly. Fine, I guess I'll do it, but let's make this quick. Peter Sam keeps stealing my favorite spot in the shed, and I won't sleep outside again. Mr. Percival was quite embarrassed. I hope you'll forgive me for Sir Handel's uh, brashness. It seems we caught him on an off day, but I am confident his attitude will improve throughout your journey, or he'll be getting a stern talking to when he returns. Sir Handel gulped and smiled. Of course, he said enthusiastically. Let's go see what the narrow gauge line has to offer. The Admiral stepped aboard and Sir Handel was off. Take me high up into the hills, please. Any place where you might think an outlaw would set up camp. Sir Handel was becoming more interested. Sounds very serious, he said, but I am just the engine for the job. They passed a magnificent waterfall before stopping at an old cottage where the terrain became rocky. Stop here. I want to inspect this house. Trust me, nobody's lived here for years. That old thing is one gust of wind away from falling over. The Admiral surveyed the residence. Now this, this would make for a perfect home. What? For you? I thought we were catching bad guys, not looking at houses. Relax, I'll need a place to conduct my research, and this shack might just do the trick. Too bad it's far away from the standard gauge line. I'll need a vehicle or something to get to Dustin every morning. Just then, Scarloe came puffing down the line with a train of quarry cars. Sir Handel moved into a siding to get out of the way. Does this line actually go anywhere? quizzed the Admiral. It stops up ahead at Boulder Mountain, but it's a one-way track to get there. 
We do a lot of mining and drilling in this area. It's very dangerous work. I would think so. Come on, let's take a look. Sir Handel wasn't so convinced, but the two chugged on. Soon enough, they had arrived at Boulder Mountain. I don't see any treasure chests or maps with giant X's on them, teased Sir Handel. I don't think you'll find your pirate friend here. No, this would be a very unconventional place for Sailor John to live. But as a place to plunder... Just then, two cargo trucks honked at each other. Ugh, I despise that noise, groaned Rusty. Those lorries are obnoxiously loud. This used to be a quiet, relaxing place to get away from it all. Now these big trucks have moved in and ruined everything. Interesting. I wouldn't expect to see so many vehicles up in the mountains. The road to get here can't be an easy climb. No, it's not. And it's very treacherous. But lately, we've had a lot more trucks up here in these areas. I guess they think it's worth the risk. What risk? asked the Admiral. Rusty looked around. Well, we're trying to keep the news quiet, but... Thumper and his drilling crew have found several deposits of valuables in the area. Word has inevitably gotten out, but we're still doing our best not to let everybody know. The Admiral gasped. My goodness, this is the exact thing that would attract Sailor John. He couldn't resist gold and silver if he knew where it was. But it's very exciting times for us, added Butch. These discoveries will likely be very profitable for the railway. I'm sure of it. Well, this has been an excellent day. I'm positive Sailor John isn't currently in this area, but I wouldn't be surprised if he starts sneaking around in the future, especially with the discovery of precious metals. Come on, Sir Handel. Let's get out of here before... Just then, there was a startling smash as one of the trucks tipped over. For just a moment, the Admiral caught a glimpse of a man with a purple jacket and white hat. Follow that lorry, he cried. What's going on? asked Sir Handel. Never mind that. After him. The truck raced away on the railway track and Sir Handel quickly followed. Unfortunately, when they cleared the tunnel down the line, Scarloe was in the way and the lorry climbed back onto the rails and was soon out of sight. Drat, we just missed him. He knows I'm here. He's scared of me now, I imagine. Do, do you think that was Sailor John? asked Sir Handel. Without a doubt. Here I was, thinking he hadn't made it to this part of the island yet, but he's likely already surveyed the hills, just like I was doing. That pirate is a crafty one, for sure. That evening, Sir Handel and the Admiral met Mr. Percival at Croven's Gate. The Admiral explained what he had seen earlier that day. Well, that is some big news, and I'm very glad you discovered what you were looking for. But, unfortunately, we can't close the entire quarry to keep Sailor John away. There's too much business to be done there. Yes, I understand that, but you must control who has access to the Boulder Mountain area. I would recommend getting all of those lorries out of there and only move essential goods on the railway tracks. You can say it's a safety procedure or something like that. If you get rid of the road access, then Sailor John will have to find another way to infiltrate the quarry. Or, hopefully, he'll give up and move on to something else. Yes, I see. I will have to talk to Sir Topham Hatt about all this, but I do believe that is a good idea. There has been quite a boom in activity in that area recently, and we must get it under control. Speaking of things being under control, I hope Sir Handel wasn't too fussy today. Are you kidding? That was the most excitement I've had in years. It sure beats pulling old trucks around all day. 
Yes, Sir Handel was a welcome companion and an excellent tour guide. I couldn't believe his speed. When we chased after Sailor John, his large wheels gripped magnificently along the rails as we... Mr. Percival laughed. Oh dear, I wouldn't have mentioned his wheels if I were you. But it was too late. My what? My large wheels? What are you trying to suggest? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I was only saying, are you saying I look like a steamroller or something? Now you've done it, chuckled Dustin. Let's go home before this gets any worse. The Admiral was confused. I was only complimenting him, he muttered. Meanwhile, Sir Handel was seething. Easy now, you did a good deed today and it's time for a rest. I'm sure your friends will love to hear stories about your adventure. Oh, they'll be hearing something all right. That Admiral thinks he can walk onto my railway and insult me. Those engines will never hear the end of it. And Sir Handel puffed quickly away, back to his grouchy behavior as usual.